Where a man stores his wife in his heart is not where he stores his mistress. Where he stores his wife in his mind is not the same place he stores his mistress in his mind. They are two different places. Conscious Reality So welcome back to Conscious Reality where we speak on love, relationships, and spirituality where all three becomes one. I want to speak on something very simple that we all should know but I think we forget sometimes. But I'm going to speak to you from a man's perspective. We all do some silly things. And I think we do silly things when our feelings begin to override our self-worth. How our feelings begin to override our discipline. We begin to do some silly things. One of the silliest things that we know that we do, that we know we shouldn't do, is mess with someone who's already taken, married, or in a relationship. Whatever we call it. We do that. And I, I mean, and I'm telling you, it's one of the worst things that you can do. Number one, it messes up your karma. Because in all reality, God ain't sending you a married man. He ain't sending you somebody's husband. He ain't sending you someone that you can't have to yourself. Someone that who's not available. That's not being sent to you from God. The universe don't confuse you. It's very simple. It's nature. It's going to cause chaos or disruption or destruction or some type of hurt. It's not for you. But so many times we have some strong feelings because we think somebody is ours or should be ours or we connect so good. We have good vibes. And so then your feelings begin to override your self-respect. Many times that's the thing that will happen the most, your feelings. Let me tell you this. The reason why married men are so attracted or attractive to you is this. See, a married man already has a wife. He doesn't really want you, so he's not trying hard. He's not thirsty. He's not hungry. He's not looking for something. And sometimes he is. But he's not trying so hard. And I think a man who's not trying so hard attracts a woman. Many times, that man who's not trying hard, the one who gives her the less attention, Attracts her because she has an ego too. See, we fail to realize that women have ego just like men do. And if he's not trying hard to get her, she's going to push. She makes sure he notices her. That happens a lot of times, whether we admit it or not. So when she sees a man who's already taken, who's not trying, who's not coming on to her like all the other single men that she doesn't want, she's drawn to him. His energy is more relaxed, so he becomes more attractive towards her. Listen, under no circumstances should you mess with someone who's already taken for that reason. The thing about a man is this right here. His loyalty stands with his wife. I promise you, he, it really does. Now, I know sometimes you might ask, how is he loyal to his wife if he's cheating? He ain't going nowhere. That's what it means. He's not going nowhere. Yeah, he might travel, but he comes back. He knows where he belongs. He knows where he stays. He's staying right there. See, many times a man will tell you questions. You know, a man will tell you stuff like, you know, the reason why I want you is because me and my wife is not together. Or I'm staying with her until the kids leave. Or because of the kids. Or maybe I'm staying here because I have nowhere else to go. Or rent is too expensive and I don't feel like spending money on two places. All this because she's sick. All these things. And I think when a woman here is exactly what the one that she likes, she says, okay, I understand. And she goes in. What do you think about a woman that is when she goes in, his energy is so relaxed that she ends up falling in love. She gets connected. She gets attached. The thing about him is that he doesn't get attached because he knows at any time he pulls back. At any time, he is not stuck. At any time when he gets caught, he knows which one to drop. Which one do you think he will drop when he gets caught? His wife or his mistress? See, oftentimes a man don't leave his wife or his mistress. Oftentimes he doesn't. As a matter of fact, to go in deeper detail, oftentimes his mistress, even when he divorces his wife, 
his mistress don't become his main woman. A lot of times, his mistress will stay his mistress as he finds someone else because his mistress was not there for that one specific reason. His mistress was there for the side piece, not the main piece. That's just what it is. He, she, he wanted her for a specific reason. See, a lot of times, women think that a, a man cheat with, um, with them because they are better. It's not because they're better. It's, not be it's because they are available, because they are there. Now, again, there are some exceptions. Sometimes the one he's cheating with, he's in love with. He really is. And sometimes he's not in love with his wife. But now that's, that's not as popular as you think. The truth is, he chooses his mistress, or he chooses the side woman for side reasons, not for the main reasons. He doesn't want her for his main woman, even after he leaves his wife. He doesn't, that's not the one he wants. That's not the one he would go to. You know, oftentimes you hear about stories about a man leaves his wife and the woman that he was messing with, he just keep messing with her but never make her his main woman because that's not what he wants you for. Listen, here's the danger in messing with a married man. Since, like I said earlier, since he's not attached like that, he can always leave. That's the main reason. He can always leave instantly. He has no obligation. His bills ain't tied up with the mistress. His money ain't tied up with her. His car, his house, his location, nothing. At any given moment, he can always pull out. And always the woman is always in pain. It's always the woman who suffers. It's always the woman who regrets it. And you know why you suffer the most? Because you're going to start telling yourself, I knew better. I knew I shouldn't have. I knew I wasn't supposed to. I knew this was wrong and I still did it. That's what hurts the most. Because how can you let this happen when you know better? This is what hurts the most. The dangers of messing with... And I, I, listen, I know. We all, we all know we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't do that. But I, do you know why? This is why. He can't give you the loyalty that you want. His heart ain't there. His mind ain't there. Sometimes he chooses you just so that he can release with you. When he and his wife has hard times, you know who to come to. You relax him sometimes. But you don't, you're not the one that he wants to marry or to be with. Leave those men alone. Leave those men who are married alone. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what you feel. I don't care how much you feel. I don't care how much you feel for them. Leave them alone. They're not yours. They don't leave their wives. 90% of the time, a man don't leave his wife for another woman. They don't. We don't. We really don't. There's no need to. We have in everything that we want at home. Most of the times. 10% of the time, a man do leave. But it's not. See, do you know the biggest reason why a man cheat? It's not based on either woman. It's based on him, his desires, his ego, his, his, uh, his needs. It's about him most of the time. That's why they cheat. It's about him. And it doesn't matter who she was. He will pick her and cheat with her. So it's not because you're special. It's not because she's better. It's not because she is quite a It's because she's there and she was there at a perfect time when he wanted her. So you got to be careful. Don't put yourself in situations that, that you're going to get hurt. Don't put yourself in a situation that you know for a fact is going to hurt you. Because if you do it, I'm telling you this as a man. Take it or leave it. This is not about what's right or what's wrong. Why men do this? Men shouldn't do that. Women shouldn't do that. Listen, this is about what happens. We know what shouldn't happen. We know that men shouldn't do it. Or women shouldn't do it. We know this. The thing is, it happens. So behave. If you're one of these women who's tempted right now by a married man, think twice. I'm just saying. You all, I hope you are subscribed. I hope you are like and comment. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.